Hey, good looking, and welcome to your Plume Peak Performance Virtual Workout. My name is Christina Stoltz, and I am founder of and headmistress to Plume, a community-driven fitness and lifestyle boutique changing the world one killer workout at a time. Here with me today is one of our team leaders, Jess. Hi, guys. And together, we have prepared a four-part virtual workout series designed to provide you with our signature sweats wherever you find yourself in the world. Now, if you're looking to develop that supple leopard-like body, to increase your agility and improve your sports performance, this is the workout for you. This Pilates apparatus simulation workout is designed to stretch, strengthen, and sculpt your body from head to toe. Let's be honest, there is nothing better than Pilates apparatus. I know I'm a little biased, but I can personally say that I have seen the transformative powers of those springs, bars, and pulleys firsthand. In crafting an apparatus practice that works for you, you need to remain consistent and give yourself time and space to grow and learn within your own practice. This workout is designed to do just that, to allow you to take your apparatus practice with you wherever you are in the world. When you can't grab a Cadillac or a reformer, you can't get yourself on a Wonder chair, or you don't have access to a ladder barrel. You ready to get going, Jess? Let's do it. Awesome. So today, we're going full throttle right in with a series of teasers and inversions that are meant to stimulate the spine, really stimulate the senses, pump the breath, pump the heart, pump the blood, and get you excited and get you sweaty for a killer workout. Let's lay it all the way down. Now, I mention that because if you do not have a current inversions practice, I don't want you to go overhead. Overhead exercises should be performed first and foremost with the care of an instructor. Today, we will show you several different variations of these exercises so that you can follow along with us if you are choosing to omit the inversions, correct? Correct. Awesome. So let's start with some of those modifications. First, Jess is gonna take her legs out to 45 degrees and arms long to the side. From here, she's gonna bring those knees into the chest and press away. That's it, variation one. We're in and we're away. One more, in and away, variation two. Pull it in, roll up just to the tips of the shoulders, roll down three, two, one, and press away. Again, pull it in, roll it up, roll it down, press away. Two more, roll it in, roll it up, roll it down, press away, last one, roll it in, roll it up, press it down, roll away. Now, Jess, let's take it overhead parallel to the ground. Here's variation three. We roll through the spine three, two, one, and sail those legs away, 45 degrees. Again, just take it up and overhead. Perfect. You can also bend the knees here if you still feel like you need some more support. Roll through the spine and lower down. And let's do one more of those variations, just up and over. Bend the knees, roll through the spine, and then slowly lower with control. Now, full version. Jess is going all the way overhead, three, two, one. Tap in the ground, yes. And then she's melting through the spine. We'll give you two more of those before this workout gets going. Take it up and over. Nice, Jess. And slowly lower through the spine. Last time, take it up and over. And slowly lower through the spine. Rock up to seated for me, Jess. So as you can see, you've got options. We want you to choose the adventure that is best for you in this workout. And know that if you do have questions or wanna follow up with us, we're only a phone call or an email away. With that said, get ready to get sweaty. All right, Jess, lay it all the way down and let's uh, kick this bad boy off. Legs out 45 degrees, arms long to the side. Nod the chin to the chest, lift to the tips of the shoulders. Only to the tips of the blades for now, <laughs> you little cheater. Now take those legs to 45 to start, but Jess, she's an advanced practitioner. She's taking it down to two inches off the mat, right there, and she's pumping for the 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. The 100 is a quintessential Pilates exercise characterized by 10 sets of 10 breaths, five inhalations through the nose, five exhalations through the mouth. Legs can be placed at 45 degrees. They can be bent at tabletop position or two inches off the mat. The chest is proud, the shoulders are back, and there's a fist distance of space from the chin to the chest. Jess keeps pumping her arms to pump the breath, the heart, the blood, and prepare her body for the workout ahead. Nice, Jess, five more cycles. 
Inhale, two, three, four, five, soft elbows. Exhale, two, three, four, five, four here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, three more. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, two. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Last one, we inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four. We hold, rock up to a teaser, three, two, one. Another quintessential Pilates exercise characterized by a proud chest and a tucked tailbone. Arms and legs are extended to 45. Modification here just bends those knees with the shins parallel to the sky or just opens the legs in first position, knees track shoulders, heels together, toes apart. Find the variation that works for you. You as well, Jess, work in your range of motion. From here, those hands are coming to 45 and we're melting down for three, down two, down one, and lift. Let's do five teasers total. Down three, down two, down one, and lift. Down three, down two, down one, just to the tips of the blades and lift, head off the mat. Down three, down two, down one, and lift. Two more. Down three, down two, down one, and lift. Last time. Three, two, one, and lift. Hold, stay. Pause right there. From here, Jess is gonna lower down, allowing the head and shoulders this time to hit the mat. Three, two, one. Legs come up and overhead right away. Work that inversion variation that worked for you. Toes tap the ground for Jess. Jess rolls through the spine for three, for two, for one. The hips anchor to the ground. The legs sail out long. And then Jess nods chin to chest and lifts up into that proud teaser. That's it. Hold it right there, Jess. Take it down three teasers total. She melts to the tip of blades and she lifts. She melts and she lifts one more. She melts and she lifts. She holds. This time she lowers all the way down. Shoulders and head hit the mat. Spine is stable on the mat. Legs up and over to your working inversion. This time we add a kick of the legs. It's a left, a right, a left, a right, a left, a right. Swimming overhead for four, three, two, and one. Feet tap the mat again to align the spine to sky. Slow to melt through the spine, three, two, one. Hips come down, legs go out, three, two, one. Salem, 45, rock it up, teaser. Last time, just as hands are coming to the base of the neck, elbows rotate in and slowly lower for five, four, three, two, one. Sharp lift on one. Slow to low, five. Four, three, two, and sharp lift on one. Yes, slow to lower. Five, four, three, two, and sharp lift on one. Last overhead. Lower down to the crown of the head. Take the legs up and over. And from here, Jess, take the toes to the mat if it's available to you. Take the left leg as high as you can to the sky. Ideally, heel is in line with hips. Spine is stacked at 90. And we switch, and we switch, and we switch. Hips stay stable. If you can't follow my tempo, that is okay. Work in your range of motion and work at your pace. Now Jess is going to pick up the speed slightly and in doing so will slightly limit the range of motion. We switch and switch and switch and switch and switch and switch for eight. Eight, seven, seven, six, yes, five, good Jess. Four, three, two, now on one, Jess goes all the way up to a jackknife. Heels in line with those hips, in line with those shoulders. Jess bends the knees to the shoulders and from here, slowly lowers down. She jumps the feet to the mat. Hips stay lifted. Three, two, one. Feet hit the mat. Yes. And she melts through the spine. Three, two, one. Knees come to the shoulders. Legs go up and overhead. Reach. Feet tap the mat. Straighten the legs. Give me one kick, then another kick, then another kick. Both legs lift all the way up. Give me that beautiful jackknife. Even higher she goes. Knees bend to the shoulders. We slowly lower through the spine as we tap the feet down to open the hips, three and two and one. Buckling belly button to pubic bone, maintaining straight line from shoulder to knee, the plumb line of the body. We melt spine down, three, two, one, knees to shoulders. Legs extend straight and overhead, tapping floor. We kick the legs for three, for two, for one. Both legs lift high to sky in that jackknife position and we stay. Now this time, just stays that lifted through the spine. She stacks through the low back. Now reaching the legs away from her head, away from the crown of her head to 45 degrees, she kicks left leg, she kicks right leg. She kicks left, she kicks right. Yes, she does not pass my hand if she can. Six and six, good. Five and five, four and four, nicely done. Three, three, two, two, one. Knees come to the shoulders. Slow to lower down through that mid back, Hopping feet to mat as hips lift, three and two and one. We melt through the spine, three, two, one. Knees come into the chest. Heels together, toes apart, hands to opposing ankles. Tight rolling like a ball for five. Yes. For four, beautiful Jess. Really great shape there. C curve and spine, nose to knees, three. That's it. 
and two now on one, Jess is gonna land, plant the hands and sail back into a plank, three, two, one. Here we go, hands down, feet back, beautifully executed. If you're stuck there, take a minute and hold it. Perfect, nicely done, Jess, how you feeling? Good. Cool. Now from here, I want you to lower down actually slowly into a push up for a five count. Lower five, lower four, lower three, lower two, lower one. Now slowly melt all the way to the mat. Flatten your feet to the mat and bring your palms, palm to palm, at the base of the neck for some work in prone. From here, Jess, pull the belly button to the spine, lift the elbows as you lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and then lift those legs as well. Perfect. Jess's hip bones are pressing down into the mat. Her belly button is lifting high to the spine. She's extended through the crown of the head. Legs are zipped together, hugging the midline of the body. And just from here, I want you to take five pulses of the upper and lower body up to the sky for five, for four, good, exhale, and two, and one, go again. We inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale for three, for two, for one, now we switch the breath. We exhale and inhale, exhale, inhale, for five, good, for four, three here, two more, and then on one, we stay as lifted as we can, arms sail out long, palms up to the sky, arms lift, legs lift, we go for a swim. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, last, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, hold, feet down, arms up, dead start, swan dive, palms are up to the sky, arms lift high, and arms go down as lower body lifts, and we switch, and switch like a human rocking horse for eight, and eight, nice chest, seven, and seven, good, six, and six, hug the midline of the body, lengthening long from the fingertips through those toes, we have four more here, and four, and three, and three, two, and two, one, and one, keep everything lifted, take those hands, grab the outside of those ankles as you bend those knees, knees are in line with those hips, roll shoulders back, head lifts, everything stays up, and hold it here, You'll remember grasshopper on your reformer. For those of you with a current apparatus practice, we stay and we rock forward and back and forward and back for five. Back, good, four, back, nice, Jess, and back, two, and back, one, rock, back, and hold. Stay that lifted, three, two, one, lift up. Let go of those ankles, press back into a rest pose, heels together, toes apart, knees track, shoulders, C curve, spine. Nicely done, Jess. From here, just come out into a full side plank on left palm for star. Now modifications before we begin. I'm gonna actually bring Jess down onto her forearm to show you that modification. Forearm down for me, Jess. And let's actually take that top leg, bend the top leg with the foot behind the bottom leg. Plant it down, lift the hips up. Beautiful, and we will move that bottom leg. Lift and lower it for me, Jess. It's up small, up small, up small, up small. That will be your star. Sit it down, Jess. Take a quick mermaid stretch, dive up and over, reach. Good, now Jess, give me full version. Palm down under the shoulder. Feet are out and stacked. Hips are up, hand high to the sky, hand base of the neck if you choose. Perfect. If you're reaching those arms up long, I want you to really plug that left shoulder down the back. Nice lift, Jess. Lifting from the underside of the body. Take that top leg, lift it and externally rotate it. Turn the palm to face the toes and from here, tap them together for five. Tap them four, yes, tap them three. Tap two, stack spine one. Now stay there and hold. This time the hand drops to the front as the leg sails, yes, to meet it. For five, beautiful. For four, nice Jess. For three, keep it up and two. And one, perfect. Lift everything up nice and high. If you can, as an advancement to this exercise, sail leg up high, take hold of that leg, maybe at the ankle, the thigh, the calf. That's it. We sit it down, we dive over, taking a quick mermaid stretch. Beautiful job, and we stay in this position, rooting through the left knee, sailing the right leg out long for a kneeling side kick series. We bring the left palm down, we face forward, and we sail that right leg out, perfect. Now notice Jess's body is in proper alignment. Palm, I'll bring it in slightly for me, Jess, under that shoulder. We have knee under hip, we have extended outside foot in line with bottom knee. Hand is at the base of the neck, and we lift now that top leg. We stay right there and hold it. From here, let's take that leg, lift it one inch higher. One inch higher, still perfect. We sweep it forward, we sweep it back. Good, point it forward, flex it back. Three more, point it and flex it. Two, point it 
and flex it one more, point it and flex it, sail it long and point the toe, tap and lift. We're down and we're up, down and up, down and up for five, up, four, up, nice, three, up, two, up, one, stay lifted, hold, keep that leg lifted and stay there for five, lift it higher. For four, you've got it, three, two, one, mini circles, three in each direction, three, two, one, reversing, three, two, one, come on to both knees, perfect. And then from here, take it up and over opposite side. Hand goes down, leg goes out. Let's lift the leg. Fabulous. Sweep forward, press back. Sweep forward, press back. You have five more. Forward and back. Heel is high in line with hip for three and back. Lift that heel higher. Two and back. Inner thigh parallel to the ground. One more. One and back. Point that toe. Now drop and lift the leg. We're down, we're up. We're down, we're up for eight and up. Seven, lift, six, lift, belly button back to that spine, long through the crown of the head, three and two and one, stay lifted, three circles for three, for two, for one, reversing, three, two, one. Now stay here, Jess, see if you can plant that foot down to the mat and transition into your star advanced from that position. Gorgeous job. Arm comes up, leg goes up, palm faces toes, externally rotated through top foot. We tap and return. Tap and return for five, yes, four and three. Beautiful job there, two and one. Let's stay that lifted, three, two, one. Now sail the arm forward as leg meets it for five, for four, beautiful job. For three, for two, for one, yes. Now stay, sit it down for me. Dive it over mermaid stretch, three, two, one. Hips are stacked, legs can be stacked or staggered but I wanna see everything on the same plane. The arm reaches in line with the ear, the shoulder in line with the hip. And now Jess is gonna lay out onto her back for a nice twist series. Take it all the way back for me, Jess. Three, two, one. Now from here, legs are gonna go out long, back where we started, and legs are gonna lift. Three, two, one, Jess, find that teaser we began with. Up you go. And now this time, Jess will take both arms up and overhead, twisting forward toward you as legs come back. Three and two, she's taking it down and over and lifting right back up. Nice, Jess, that was really great. Take it out and reach it up. Beautiful. Let's do two more. Four on each side total. Out and we return. Out and we return. Hold it here. Dive over. Take a quick stretch forward. Lay all the way down for me. Lift the legs to 45. That's it. Notch into chest and lift right back up. Cross opposite ankle over opposite leg. And then we sail it out and in four times, reaching and returning, leading with that bottom hand. Reach and return. Two more, reach and return. Up, oh, one more, reach, that's awesome. And return, dive up and over, reach through those toes. Now from here, Jess, swivel your legs around mm -hmm, to your side, perfect. And let's come into a lunge base series, similar to our splits on the reformer. Mm -hmm. Perfect. In this position, Jess will step her left foot forward and her right foot back. Now come into your classic lunge with square hips. Make sure both legs are at 90 degrees as you lower down. Three, two, one. That's it right there. Now just square those hips by bringing the right hip slightly forward. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then from here, let's take those arms up to the sky, bring the hands to the base of the neck and hinge forward slightly. Perfect. Now Jess is rooted through her front left foot. That right knee is coming into the chest and out. This will cause Jess to lift up slightly higher than she currently is. Out and in for 10, yes, nine and eight. Slight tuck of the tailbone here as the belly button presses to the spine for four, for three, yes, two and one. Now Jess, bring that knee into the chest one more time. Perfect, dive slightly forward. Sail that leg slightly back, keep that leg straight, and from here, last set of 10, tap and lift with a bent left leg and a straight right leg. For 10, tap, nine, tap, gorgeous, eight, yes, seven, beautiful form there, six, and five, you got it, girl, four more, three more, two more, now on one, sweep that foot forward, step the opposing leg back, find that deep lunge to start, parallel feet here, make sure that the front knee is not beyond the first or second toe, square the hips, Stack the spine by opening the elbows in line with the periphery. Slight hinge forward. Let's get that left leg working. Pull it in, press away. 
in and away for eight, away, seven, away, six, yes, five, keep it up, four, three, good, two, and then on one, stay in, dive slightly further forward, sail that leg out long and straight, keep that right leg bent, tap and lift, 10, tap, nine, tap, eight, tap, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, stand tall, turn to face forward, first position, center of mat, perfect. Now, our jump board series. For those of you that have a reformer practice, you know that the jump board is totally boss and is an excellent way to have a really safe plyometric workout. Let's keep those arms long at our sides. You can also bring them to your hips for stability. We'll start with wraps. To do so, let's come into third position, heel into arch, beautiful. And then from here, we jump and switch. It's 10 and 10 and nine and nine and eight, eight, yes. We are bringing that heel in line with the first and second toe as we jump high to sky. If you want an added challenge, you can bring the hands to the base of the neck to challenge the spinal stack for five, for four, beautiful, for three, for two, for one. Let's see if we can go for doubles. Jump, 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 jump. Here we go. Yes, 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 perfect. Eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, as you would find them on the jump board, three, three, two, two, one, one, return to first position. This time, let's jump out, extend legs long and land in that deep first. Here we go. We're out and in for 10, out, nine out, eight, yes, seven. We'll complete 10 sets of 10 jumps for six, five, beautiful, four, three, nice, Jess, two, and one. Now bring the feet into parallel cannonball jumps, hands to hips, arms down long, or hands to base of neck. We jump up, knees into chest, and we land by rolling through the foot, toe ball, heel. We jump, we land for 10, for nine, knees high, for eight, yes, for seven, for six. You'll notice chest is soft on the landing and honors those parallel feet. That's it. For four, for three, for two, and one. We're at our fifth set of jumps, first position, high frogs. Again, hands base of the hips, arms long, or hands at the neck. From here, knees jump high to the shoulders. Here we go for 10. Taking it up, taking it up, up, up. It's six, five, four, three, two. One second set, go for it. I know, I'm sorry. And we're up, 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 up for five, four, three, two, one. Back to cannonballs. Seven of 10 sets to be completed. Here we go. Lift, 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 good, nice chest. Keep that spine stack. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go back to first position. Just a simple first position jump here. Take it up, 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 yes. For six, five, four, three, two, one, and wraps. We switch and switch and switch and switch for eight. Nice guys, seven, six here, keep it up. Five and four and three and two and one, perfect. Last set, Jess, we'll take three small jumps and one big extension with a passe, land. Three small jumps, extension with a passe. How does that sound to finish? Perfect, here we go. Three, two, one, extend, three, Two, one, extend. Jess dives up and over. Oh, she's still going. <laughs> I was only going to give you one on each foot. I assume 10. I know, no. Oh, if you want to get right back in there, we can. Slowly stack your spine for five, four, three, two. Now on one, I do want you to roll those shoulders back. You spent some time jumping, so let's come up onto those toes, lifting the heels through the arch, and the arms sweep behind. And then let's stay there for a minute. Arms are pressing back, palms press inward. Pulse them for five, four, three, yes, two, and then on one, stay there and hold it. Lift up one inch higher. Really connect with your core here. Take a moment to close your eyes and maintain your balance for four, for three, for two, and then on one, slowly lower the heels, roll the shoulders back as you open your eyes, and you, my friends, are finished your apparatus simulation. How are you feeling, Jess? Good. Awesome. Pilates apparatus is a ton of fun, but outside of being a great workout, it is a brilliant way to lengthen the spine, to realign the body, and to connect with the core mechanics of your pelvic floor. I hope you enjoyed this workout.
and we would love to share more with you. Feel free to visit our website to check out more of our virtual workouts. And always know that we are here for you and are ready to share a sweat whenever you want. Have a beautiful day and uh, get ready to get sweaty, guys. <laughs> this is a good one. See ya. Bye.